David Zamora Casas is an award-winning multidisciplinary artist, a San Antonio native working here since 1985. His life practice is a conscious decision to move forward critical dialogue within topics of humanity, nature, and spirituality. Zamora Casas performance art functions as social commentary, which explores identity, gender assumptions, and environmental plunder. The artist states lovingly that his work is a radical act which strives for an inclusive and eco-friendly, empathetic world. David Zamorax Casas. A good story sometimes takes a whole lifetime to tell. That is what my passionate friend, the writer, La Barbara Renaud Gonzalez, has often told me. I tell my story with interconnected, life-affirming, visceral narratives. I use word and image to develop themes of love, loss, and redemption. I was born of stardust. I was born here in Yanaguana. I was born a mariposa. I re-envision the emotional and social political landscape through a working class Chicano world view and a Latinx lens. My work is informed by a Tejano Americano sensibility and the heart of a flaming, flamboyant, infant terrible. Make water pure again! Bring my baby back to life again. The river, she is dying. Listen to the river. Without clean water, there will be no river. There will be no life. Make water pure again. I can't. Agua. The installations I create are devotional, meditative, sacred sites and are often social critiques. I produce these wall-to-wall, floor-to-ceiling assemblages, dioramas, and tableaus to raise awareness of preserving cultural heritage and celebrating diversity. MacArthur fellow Sandra Cisneros beautifully summed up my work when she observed, as an art provocateur, Zamora Casas is following a continuous legacy from shaman ancestors who saw the spiritual when others could not, would not see it. His art installations are a prayer dedicated to those who society vilifies. His art moves me to deep emotions, tears, as well as laughter. Above all, Zamora Casas is a clown shaman making his way through the world with his heart ablaze like El Corazón Sagrado. A storm of fire illuminating the way in the season of darkness. A reoccurring theme is that of rascuachismo, a term coined by beloved scholar Tomasi Barafrausto, which he describes as a Chicano lived sensibility rooted in working class values. To be rascuache is defined by an ability to make do with whatever is at hand, to make something out of nothing. Mother Earth is burning. Madre Tierra se está quemando. Women have always been inspirational and pivotal in my life. Soy carne y sangre del cuerpo de mi madre. The late scholar Gloria Anzanlual Anzaldua has written, she's a tongue twister, she was a lesbian. <laughs> By Mexicans, we do not mean citizen of Mexico. We do not mean a national identity, but a racial one. Being Mexican is a state of soul. Not one of mind, not one of citizenship, neither eagle nor serpent, but both. Similarly, I have patterns. I follow instinctively maternal, and paternal views as a part of my state of soul. Not pink or blue, but all of the colors of the rainbow. Our emotions are non-binary, and love has no gender. A 
reoccurring topic is the recognition of preferred pronouns which people now employ to identify themselves. She, he, they. The Mexican magic in me understands the na nature and the beauty of my body-spirit identity and embraces it. In the book, Contemporary Chicano Chicana Art, Volume 2, Gilbert Garcia states, Zamora Casas has managed to incorporate painting, sculpture, music, and poetry in his work. He often merges all of these elements into performance art pieces that bend theatrical conventions to their breaking points. Thank you, Gilbert. Tomorrow is El Dia de la Virgen, complete with full moon and danzantes. David Orozco Casas transitioned on this sacred day, 2004. My father once asked me, Davidito, you're going to be 30 years old. When are you going to stop wearing lipistic? <laughs> My response was, con todo cariño y respeto. It took me this long to wear lipstick and to feel confident about it. Rest in peace, Dad. I live amongst a community of musicians, poets, actors, academics, galleries, and cantinas. I have been called folk, baroque, high rascuachismo, el cupid de San Antonio, a surrealist, the hummingbird prince, and on occasion, I have been called mija by my mother. I have survived living in the U.S.-Mexico heteronormative borderlands of Atzlan for the past 35 years. I have danced around the bureaucratic gatekeepers of this conservative elite art canon, all the time telling my truths, never holding back. My gender-fluid corazón also creates opportunities which showcase fellow creatives. I advocate for the planet Earth, and I offer support to people living with HIV who are long-term survivors. I honor the women and men of Atzlan who bring picante flavor to the white bread world. In solidarity, we witness the gentrification of our once charming pueblo. We pray for city-sponsored, equitable, individual artist funding, and we pray for the well-being of the children at our United States detention centers. I leave you with the words of Don Tomasi Barafrausto. A collective thread among the artwork are red hearts, symbolizing love in its diverse manifestations, carnal love, love of community, love of family and friends, and the love of nature. The rich, opulent, and multifaceted artwork of David Zamora Casas opens our consciousness and our conscience, reminding us that we live in a mysterious, ever-changing, enchanted world full of resonance and wonder. David Zamora Casas. So, David, more than 30 years I've watched you use love, color, culture to produce beautiful, exuberant art, but it's never art without a statement or a message about human rights, about civil rights. Um, I wonder if you'd talk about the city that you work in. Missy talked about it being such an open city with a great community of artists. How is it different now than in the 1980s when we first met and someone like you would have never been invited into a museum to exhibit? It's a serious, um, sad state of um, fuckery. Um, the gentrification that's going on is uh, really um, affecting the, the, the pueblo, the, the, the amistad, the cariño, the smiling. But let's not talk about that. All right. What? Well, you've talked about it. <laughs> we've ta my, my work speaks of it. I'm a very serious artist with uh, very serious concerns, and I use uh, this platform of magic, of flamboyancy, to reach the audience about important topics. And I hope that with my art, uh, which is multiple in layers and meaning and significance, that that comes through. So you've been widely exhibited over the years. Where can people see your work now if they haven't ever been to an exhibition of your or work or seen your work in other exhibitions? Well, I, I can tell you what my future projects uh, entail. Please. Um, I've been fortunate to work with a wonderful organization called the Beale House Arts Center. Yeah, they're in the house tonight. One of the most progressive, artist-friendly organizations of its kind in San Antonio. 
Um, they're going to have an on and off Fredericksburg Road studio tour this February. I invite everyone to come. And uh, please look online to, to get more information. The Beelhouse Arts Center, uh, beelhouse.org, I think. And then they have on and off Fredericksburg Road. Uh, but the big uh, feather in, in my bonnet is going to be a quinceanera. A quinceanera, quinceanera blah, 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 blah. I'm acting like Gloria and Zandula now. Kind of, I need a drink. Um, quinceanera, quinceanera is the 15 year anniversary, a debut, right? A debutante, right? So uh, the quinceanera is going to celebrate 15 years of, of art, of, of painting classes, of yoga classes, of community service that the Beale House does. So that's going to be in, in May. I think it's Quince de Mayo, Mayo, Mayo Nessa. Uh, but the on and off Fredericksburg Road is in February, so that's, that's important. I'm also doing an exhibition uh, curated by Luis Valderas called MASA, Mexican-American Space Alliance, and that's going to be at the Centro de Artes. Um, another important thing that I want to mention is a book titled Presence. It's a book created by artists helping artists, and what they do is they invite artists to submit work, and then they publish it, and, and you could get your work out. But it's, it's a way that artists get their, their, their work out, and, and uh, it's, it's artist-based, artist-friendly, so those are a few things that are coming up. Uh, you could always reach me uh, by my phone. Uh, I'm, I'm an old school person. I don't like to use the internet much, except for porn. But, um, <laughs> but I like face to face. I like talking. I like people, you know, looking in the eye and, and talking about important things that, that matter. Gonzafos. Gonzafos. <laughs> On Highway 90 um, in combat boots. You, 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 uh... Set for us tonight, David. Yes, sir. Anything before we leave it that you want yeah. to say or do? Yes. Well, I did this for the the driving force, as far as I'm concerned, of Pekachuca, which is Vicky Neo Vicky. Vicky. So she's um, <laughs> she's fabulous. She, she was one step ahead of everything, and uh, she really did a good job. So I wanted to create magic, because I think our lives need magic. We need to let go of the three-car garage and how much money do you make, and really just stop and look and, and, and appreciate each other and appreciate the sensuality that each, of, each one of us has in us. There's beautiful stuff inside all of us, and we just have to unleash that. Um, and I wanted to say that I met Randy Beamer a couple of hundred years ago, we did a show at the Blue Star Art Complex. It was called Walk on the Wild Side. This was before the Blue Star Art Complex was what it is today. Mm -hmm. And there was one running water toilet, and we had to put all our electrical stuff in. And so Blue Star was really created by bohemian uh, artists that wanted to find a place for artists. And uh, the Blue Star Contemporary is still that, but the rest of the place, well, you know, if you want to go eat, go ahead. Um, but that's why I appreciate places like Beelhouse Arts and um, the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center because they are trying their best to encourage artists uh, corazón a corazón. But back to the stage. David. Back to the stage. Let me check my notes. Okay. Um, at this time, I would like to invite all the participants that talk today onto the stage, including the Pecachuca team, Guys, you're supposed to come up here. Come on up, we're going to get a photo uh, yeah. opportunity. We're going to we'll make more than photos. Fair warning. Why don't you all go over And I need my lovely assistant, Jerry Juarez, por favor. Please to the stage. I also want to thank a wonderful woman in my life, someone that I couldn't create my artwork without. Her name is Bahara, and I love her dearly. Bahara, I love you. Now Libby, Mariah, Ariana, Nadia, Natalia, Doran, Leanne, and my favorite superhero, Vicky. Where's Vicky? <laughs> San Antonio is a magical place. It's, it's an ancient city, and it was, um, it was, um, not always the best place to be if you were Mexican, you know. So this is my way of blessing and thanking everybody here and the audience as well. Um, but we have to believe in magic. 
And I want to acknowledge a magical person in the audience. Well, everybody, thank you so much for coming. But there's a beautiful lady here, and her name is Carmen Tafoya. Carmen Tafoya, can we give a round of applause for Carmen Tafoya? Everybody start away? Yes. We'll give one to Andy, Andy Boone. Okay. Everybody here? No, one more. Espera, espera, we'll wait, we'll wait. Can we all have a, can, can everybody on stage get a drink? Can the bartenders bring us all a drink up here? Oh, please. <laughs> Mr. Robert, come on out. I also want to thank our masters of ceremonies, Bob Rivard and Randy Beamer. Everybody take a few steps over and get away from the podium so yeah. we can get a photo. And this is a blessing from me to you, to the audience, wishing everyone a safe and gender fluid holiday season and a blessed, safe, and prosperous new year. A round of applause for the Pekachuca team and the presenters tonight. My name is David Samoracasas, Nuclear Meltdown. Get in the photo, David. David. <laughs>